what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are embarking back on the journey and i came prepared because this calls this episode calls for some delicious wine i will be enjoying wine as i sip <laughs> as i watch this episode tonight i will be drinking some wine mostly because i want to stay awake <laughs> right it's not that the show is boring but your boy is tired okay i'm trying to move something out of the way um so i can place this down properly so i know the 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 um you know i'm enjoying this series and i really want to get these reactions out for you guys and your boy is you know what i'm saying i felt myself getting sleepy a little bit and i you know i went i said you know what let me take a shower relax because i need to get these reactions out especially due to the fact that we haven't been consistent ever since the schedule start we have not been consistent so i'm trying my hardest to do this um usually when i'm sleepy and i start doing reactions i you know i perk up so let's do it but this episode does call does call for some wine um to shower and then you know my boy be ashy around these parts <laughs> you now i'm saying we know tenma right we know tenma is on he got the sights you know what i'm saying he, he got the sights you know what i mean you know what i mean let me get your boy get some lotion on you know what i'm saying i know some of you guys are there like why is this guy putting on lotion in front of me right now don't worry about it black men get ashy <laughs> okay black people be ashy okay just took a shower you know what i'm saying i'm in a rush to get to these reactions i forgot to put on lotion but because you know we as black people have lotion all over the place you know just in case you know what i'm saying you don't want to be caught off guard with some ashy ass elbows you know what i'm saying gotta stay prepared out in these streets but anyways, let's get to these reactions. You know what I'm saying? Let's make sure we get in between the fingers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get it. I will see you guys for the review after the reaction, of course. Let's go. Hmm. これだ。何か分かったの<笑><笑> あ、確か彼は今日ミュンヘン大学図書館で蔵書寄贈のセレモニーに。そこへ緊急配備。え天馬が狙っているのはシューバルトだよ。It's not, but <laughs> ここでいろいろ調べてたけど探している人見つかりそうになくてせっかくだからいいのぜラテノーズエグザクティウェリーイズ Is this is it the the monsters that we've been seeing in the the beginning and the ending? I mean the ending, I should say. Is that what the picture book is? Cuz I see something that looks like that on the cover. I think somebody was saying that in the comment section too. I I don't remember exactly what they said.
昔昔あるところに名前のない怪物がいました怪物は名前が欲しくて欲しくて仕方ありませんでしたそこで怪物は旅に出て名前を探すことにしましたでも世界は広いので怪物は二つに分かれて旅に出ました一匹は私へもう一匹は西へ東へ行った怪物は村を見つけました村の入り口には鍛冶屋がいました鍛冶屋のおじさん僕にあなたの名前をください名前なんてあげられるものか名前をくれたらお礼におじさんの中に入って力を強くしてあげるよ本当か力が強くなるなら名前をあげよう OK It's definitely from the ending. Ah. Okay. おっとを中の空いた怪物はおっとを中の怪物はまた名前のない怪物に逆戻る靴屋の半数の中に入ってもバリバリぐしゃぐしゃバキバキごくんまた名前のない怪物に逆戻る狩人のトマスの中に入ってもバリバリぐしゃぐしゃバキバキごくんやっぱり名前のない怪物に逆戻る怪物はお城の中に素敵な名前を探しに行きましたお城の中には病気の男の子がいました君の名前を僕にくれたら強くしてあげるよ病気が治って強くなるなら名前をあげる怪物は男の子の中に入っていきました男の子はとても元気になりました王様は大喜び王子が元気になった王子が元気になった怪物は男の子の名前が気に入りました。お城の暮らしも気に入りました。だからお腹が空いても我慢しました。毎日毎日お腹がペコペコでも我慢しました。でも、あまりお腹が空いてしまったので、僕を見て、僕を見て、僕の中の
So he's living the life of a book he read? Basically? Or who wrote that book? あ。わからないってあなた自分のことなのよ。わからないわけないじゃない。ちゃんと答えて。どういうことか教えてよ。どうして私はこの絵本を読んだ時、あんなに嫌な気持ちになったの。シューバルトに雇われていた探偵の転落死。
can't pull the trigger, man. <laughs> Come on, Tenma. Shit, you don't want to become what, what you're trying to fight, man. I get it. He'll become exactly like him. So many lie dead in his wake. up there man oh He's going to shoot freaking Shu Walt. <laughs> He's going to shoot that dude that's presenting? Yep. How are you going? Oh how are you just ten more? Wake up, bruh! You gotta stop this. This dude is going to frame you for murder, bruh. Again. How are you going to stop this? There's no way to stop this now. That's why I said there's no way Johan does not know. This is nutty, bro. Finally! Jeez. This man really came up here. It's like he knows he's about to die. So that's what I'm 
Ryukoto. Could you tell me what you what he has done? いいな。みんな私の話を聞いてほしい。一度に動いてはいけない。そうだ。どういうことだ。俺の仕事はシューバルと撃つことだぜ。なんでこの日は。そうか、気が変わったんだね、ヨハン。この方がいい。ずっといいよ。アリだ、みんなアリみたいに力逃げ回っている。<laughs> Roll over, Tenma. <laughs> Come on. It trapped in there. This man out here worried about the damn books. Tenma, I'm gonna need you to shoot this guy. We gotta get him out the picture, man. This is some bull. Did 
Let's see if the ending changed. This is nutty, bro. I was just eating everybody from the inside out. Alright. Did Tenma pull the trigger? I think so. This guy. I mean, trying to figure out Johan is like <laughs> trying to figure out a, a freaking puzzle, Rubik's Cube kind of stuff, bro. Like, I don't know why he does what he does. The fair in the air. That's crazy, man. Why? Why? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Bop, bop. Let's go. Utanaka. Omae ni wa muri da yo. Utanaka. It's self defense, man. He has the gun in his hand. Come on, man. Omae ni wa inochi wo atayaru koto shika deki ya shinai. Okay, 
Come on, Tenma. <laughs> One time? Uh, Bruh, uh, pull the trigger uh, twice! Uh, What's good? Uh, the shoulder? Come on, bop, bop, let's go! Yes! About damn time! And you still didn't do it twice! <laughs> In succession, man! You gotta get him with the bop, bop, bop! It ain't no one shot then freeze! Let's go, man. About time. Still a problem. Much I can tell you. Yeah, we gotta help the people, man. ボヤなっています。たくさんの書物が炎がすべてを焼き尽くそうとしていますよ。お前の依頼たいことはそれだけか。私に本を読んで聞かせていたように、この地獄へを私に伝えればそれで満足か。お前の狙いは私になり変わ
名前がなかった If, if, if what happened? Is Johan his real son? I oh, don't know, bruh. Come on, man. I am so anxious to know more about Johan. Like, y'all don't understand, man. Okay. That's his mom, right? Kaza. Yeah. Korewa. <laughs> Is that his will? Toranga no Shini Kansir Chosa Hokok Show. Okay. Hirfri Chutantesha. Margot Toranga. Homio Hedenka no Bakova. 1955年8月12日、チェコプラハ生まれ。1975年10月15日、チェコプラハ生まれ。1975年10月15日、チェコプラハ生まれ。1975年10月15日、チェコプラハ生まれ。1975年10月15日、チェコプラハ生まれ。
Isn't that the bank that Johan was the head of? Yo! マルゴットランガーは決戦手オッフェンバッハに住む。写真は当時彼女のいたアパルトの池である。同居人には18歳ぐらいの少年がいたというが、2人の関係が不明である。91日2日、マルゴットランガーはハイデ通りにて他殺
They gone. Oh, they still there. Yo. I know this dude is not about to walk up to Tenma right now. Bruh! Kill Shuad. I thought she was pointing the gun at Shuad. this show bruh you know what I want you guys to do if you're watching this show with me and this is your first time watching the show put it down in the comment section man let me know who's watching the show with me let me know if you're picking up on things that I'm not picking up on and let's have a chat about it I'll see you guys for the review listen guys when I tell you that I'm confused. <laughs> I am so like itching and anxious for answers. That's where I'm at. It's not really confusion. You know what I'm saying? It's not really confusion. It's more of like a, a serious anxiety that I'm going through right now. Just wanting to know who the hell is Johan and where did he come from like that's the most intriguing thing about this series man it's like it's like you're trying so hard to like wrap your head around who Johan is and you just can't put a finger on it because this guy just does the craziest things and you're like why are you doing this why are you burning down a library just to see people scramble what is the point you are trying to prove is it that you're trying to just instill fear why is it that shual is just sitting there after he's like staring to yohan's eyes and he's just like frozen in place and now we got nina coming in at the end of the episode shooting down the whatever thing i, I don't even know if she's trying to shave say she's telling Tenma not to shoot Johan and then she has the gun pointed at something. I thought she had the gun pointed at Chuwal, but that's not what it is. She has the gun pointed at she looks like she shot down the canopy or whatever you want to call it and it fell down on him. I mean, I know you guys are not going to see the next two episodes until Wednesday, but my god. <laughs> my god. You know what I'm saying? The next two episodes are going to be on early access. I'm going to go watch those right now. 
the next two episodes are going to be on early access so make sure you go check those out if you have not signed up for early access yet man what are you waiting for you know what i'm saying i'm about to drop a whole lot of content on early access um make sure that we are being consistent on the channel i'm trying to get to a place for early access actually to be at least like maybe like four episodes ahead instead of just two um so i'm trying to get to that but we you know we soon will get to that but if you have not signed up for early access yet you want to watch these two the next two episodes um um of the series before before wednesday they're gonna be up there those two episodes are gonna come out on the channel on wednesday but if you want to see them now if you're excited to see you know what's going to happen next you can always do that but you already know two more episodes are going to drop on early access on wednesday and you're not going to see those until next week monday so that's how it works anyways man i don't have much to say about these two episodes other than you know what i'm saying finally we get to see tenma bussing you know what i'm saying it's about damn time i'm tired of seeing him you know what i'm saying I, we seen him bust a couple you know what i'm saying but it was to save dude's life you know what i'm saying he wasn't he wasn't really shooting to kill this time you have a target right in front of you i want to see this hit man dead i've been wanting to see him dead he been killing a lot of like i don't want to say good people but you know good people so i definitely like the. i don't know if he's dead there's no confirmation of that but he did get shot um, and he fell over the railing. So I don't know if he's dead. I don't want to say he is. But when you're talking about an emotionless villain, that is Johan in a nutshell. The man feels nothing. He has a goal, he accomplishes it, and then he taunts you. You know what I'm saying? He like put it right here if you can pull the trigger i need that bullet right here my guy <laughs> you know what i'm saying 10 months still couldn't pull it bruh this series is nutty the the book that was in episode 37 the book and the way how they were explaining the book the color book it seems like you know that that is I don't know I don't want to say it's it can't be that it's Johan that wrote the book but it seems like that book explains a lot about his character and the reason why I say that is is, is because he literally destroys everything from the inside out that's what he does right that's what he does that's his nature when he is the he destroys people from the inside out he messes with people emotions they're you know what i'm saying play them against their own self so it's like it's a depiction of who he is that monster that got split in that got split into two and as i said before it seems like the book is telling us that eventually he's gonna kill nina because nina is his counterpart it's the two parts that got split up one part went on trying to find a name the other part was trying to do the same but didn't do the same thing the same thing that johan did. but once he found his name which is the name johan he came back or maybe that's the reason he you know he came back and eat his counterpart now in real life with johan right it seems like he's gonna take on that role now you know what i'm saying like he's gonna take on that role off johan of he, he loved the power so much that the prince had in the in the book he loved that power you know what i'm saying found a name that he liked even deprived himself of hunger just to stay in that body because he knew that if he eat that body he would not have that name anymore so he decided to stay in there and use that body as the monster or to portray his, his monstrosity right to the world right so for me the way how i'm looking at it even though I, it still doesn't explain a lot but it um they did went into a little bit of detail with carl and his mom and it looks like his mom 
used to be with Johan. So I don't know what the hell she told him, but maybe that's why he came back for Shuwalt. I don't know. Maybe he's just blaming Shuwalt Shu for, for abandoning his son or something of the sort. I don't know. Because maybe it's his, maybe it is his fault. Maybe it is the mother that kept Carl away. I don't know what this woman told Johan. But Johan seemed like that's why he's trying to destroy Shuwalt. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the reason. But I could be wrong because this series is is like that but in any case guys that is all i have to say i am exhausted <laughs> you know i got two more episodes to watch and these two episodes were probably two of my favorite episodes in the series because i mean you can't you don't want to like johan's character as in just his character in the show but it's so hard not to like his character because his character, even though he's not toting guns, he's just such a badass. Like, you just, you can't help yourself, but, but you know what I'm saying? Other than the killing part, you know what I'm saying? It's just the swag that Johan has. It's like you wish you had that kind of swag to just be like, yo, I know you can't touch me. That's... This man is walking around in fire. We're not talking about some supernatural show here. But this man is walking around in fire in a suit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh. Man is great character. Great character development for this show, man. I can't boast about it enough. Love it. See you guys next time for some more. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. You know what to do. Appreciate y'all. Peace.